about 2017. You see how we those dived. Those in, para in, in brackets or parentheses are negative. They are not positive figures. They are negative. So we had economic recession for how many quarters? Almost five, five, yes. five quarters before we now came out. And now we assume we will yeah. grow in the last quarter. But some economists are already telling us that what fuel and all fuel and its oil product did in December may also affect the entire growth space in the last quarter of uh, 2017. Then in 2017 also, we know that in 2014 we were able to achieve single digit inflation rates, but in 2017 the thing shot up again from 18.72 in January 2017 to 15.40 in December. 2017. January is yet to come out because we are still in January. Uh, the third one is unemployment. You see how it has been growing since 1999. This is official figure from the National Bureau of Statistics, which most of us know that unemployment rate is by far higher than this. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. Uh, the, the latest data they released this as of December 2017. You now see unemployment 18.8, underemployment 21.2, and youth unemployment through underemployment, which is what I call a, 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 a time bomb we are sitting on. 56.65% of our youth are either unemployed or underemployed. And you know this. If NBS can give us this figure, that means it's higher than this. Sure. Um, I, I, I was listening to an advert uh, from talking in CNN. They said we have universities that can produce students who can compete favorably with students from all over the world. So they were not just telling us the number of students that graduate every year, but they were telling us that they can favorably compete with students from all over the world. So you now see with that, you see that unemployment will be very, very minimal because they have the quality to. We don't even want to go into that. The unemployability and so on. If you go into that, that will be a story for another day. Go on. 